haba naman ng pangalan ng anak niyo. Saan niyo naman nakuha yung name ng baby niyo? Paano niyo naisip? Up until now, a lot of people are still wondering and still asking us, how did we come up with our daughter's name? Because apparently, she has a long name. She has three names aside from her middle name and surname. So, how did we come up with our daughter's name? So, first of all, our daughter's full name is Gianna Calayupi Elis Bahandi Tijedor. Imagine, haba na isusulat niya kapag nagsiskul na siya. And ang haba bitisin. So, first name, Gianna. Obviously, Gian and Hannah. It's my partner and I's first name. Pinagsama lang namin yun. But, long time ago, naisip ko na yung name na Gianna. If in case, magbe-baby kami. And that time, nung naisip ko yung name na yun, baby girl yung gusto ko. Or maybe because, yun yung magandang combination ng name namin, Gianna. Pang girl siya. So, nagkaroon kami ng usapan na, if baby boy, um, gusto ko, yung first name ng baby boy would be, same ng initial ng partner ko which is letter G or at least katunog ng pangalan niya and kapag babae naman dapat katunog ng pangalan ko does it make sense? <laughs> <laughs> basta whatever the sex is dapat katunog ng name ko or ng name niya okay so obviously it's a baby girl kaya naging Elise kasi katunog ng Clarice, which is my second name. Dapat talaga Gianna Elise lang yung name niya. So, parang katunog lang ng Hannah Clarice. But, there's this one character from uh, the TV show Grey's Anatomy, if you guys are familiar with that show. It's a medical um, series which I really, really love. Actually, yung partner ko, gusto niya din yung show doon. Her name is Callie, but eventually, I learned that her full name is Calliope, which eventually she mentioned from the show na Calliope means music. Wait, hold on. That blood coming from her chest? What? Calliope means music. And of course, I did my own research. Um, based on Google, Calliope means beautiful voiced. So, either of those, I still like the name kasi I am a music lover. I kind of dream na maging same kami ng daughter ko. Mahiligan niya din yung music. So, this name is really perfect for her. Personally, for me din. Kasi I really, really love singing. And, yeah. Third day, Elise. So, like I mentioned earlier, Elise is katunog ng Clarice. It just so happens that yung Elise kasi, Medyo kinuha ko din siya from Grace Anatomy. Kasi yung bida doon, si Meredith, meron siyang anak. Her third child. This is Zola and Bailey. And the youngest one is Ellis. Kinuha niya yung name na yun from her mother. So pinangalan niya doon sa baby girl niya. Which I also really, really love. And um, nabanggit din doon sa show, I was surprised actually na tinawag niyang uh, Ellie Bell yung baby niya as her nickname. Eh, before pa, as in long time ago, uh, hindi ko pa nami-meet yung partner ko. And, um, wala pa kong, uh, isa pa lang yung anak ko, kasi now I have three kids. I also like the name Ellie Bell. I came up with my own nickname for my baby, which is Ellie Boo. Ayun, I don't actually call her that often. Kumaga, ano lang, through my posts. Alam mo yun, kapag something na, kapag sometimes na parang gusto mong islang yung name ng baby mo. Also, yung Elise, aside from katunog siya ng Clarice and galing siya sa Grace Anatomy, nyo ko kasi yung name ng mother niya is Elizabeth. So, somehow, kinuha din namin siya dun. No, para lang, ewan ko, para lang siguro may meaning talaga yung name. But really, um, if you're gonna ask me bakit ang haba, eh, gusto ko talaga ng may kahulugan talaga. And alam mo yun, masasabing pinag-isipan, well thought of, and siguro kasi personally, medyo natakot na din ako na magbuntis ulit. Kasi I was really decided to give her the name just Gianna Elise. Pero sabi ng papa niya, parang gusto niya na isama yun. <laughs> parang gusto na isama ng papa niya yung kalayo. Sabi ko, sige, go push na natin. And so yun. 
kasi I was also afraid na baka hindi na ako magbuntis, hindi ko na magamit yung name. So, binigay na namin sa kanya lahat. And we were very happy with the result. We were very happy actually now. Um, she is just eight, uh, 19 months old. But she can already say her name, her full name. Of course, medyo gibberish pa, pero she's already familiar with her name. So, ayun lang. This is just for my diary, but in case it made to YouTube, um, if you guys are having a hard time thinking of your baby's name or your future baby's name, mahirap talaga siya. But uh, if, if you can't really think of anything, do your research. Uh, alam niyo yun, isipin niyo lang yung mga important na tao or bagay sa inyo. And mix and match. Alam.